Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center and Mark's Backyard Birds on YouTube. We've had a lot of questions lately about you know feeding from the deck and uh, deck arms and squirrels and raccoons because it is the raccoon season. The raccoons are bringing in their babies, starting to do that right now. And instead of one raccoon, you got seven. You know, coming visiting you at night. And, and they, you know, you guys, if you've watched the earlier videos, you know, I moved uh, back in December, and I'm now I feed from my deck where I never really did that before. I had a pole system in the yard, so I've got a lot of experience now <laughs> from feeding from the deck and kind of been experimenting with what works and what doesn't work. And there are a lot of misconceptions. A lot of people think that these deck arms and the roof's going to kind of pan up to show you we've got lots of varieties of deck arms you know they uh, they clamp on or screw on doesn't really matter but the different lengths and different heights uh, and people think that because they buy the longer deck arms that puts the feeder out further from the deck that the squirrels can't crawl out on the, those deck arms and nothing can be further from the truth uh, because the squirrels are amazing climbers and raccoons are every bit as good uh, and if not better than squirrels so uh, when it comes to feeding from your deck and your deck arms do not think no matter what size a deck arm you're going to buy here that you're, it's going to keep squirrels and raccoons from being able to climb on it so right away we had to put that out of mind but there are other ways to battle them got a couple of them hanging over my head as clues but again, the choice of feeding Feeders, and also the choice of seed is what's going to help you when you're feeding from your deck. The, uh, the first things first, squirrel proof feeders. They're great and they really do work, um, but they you, they have to be hung properly. And when we say that, whenever we talk to people about squirrel proof feeders on their deck, and they go, oh, I've got a deck arm, and they take it home and they put it on their deck arm, but their deck arm hangs too close to the deck railing. And so the squirrel sits on the deck railing and the raccoon sits on the deck railing and he reaches over and he pulls the feeder over and he's able to either shake it so that the seed falls to the ground or he's able to crawl on it or get to it. And, and, and so a, a squirrel proof feeder kind of gets negated if it's not hung properly. Uh, the best example is right here, right over my head. Now, the Squirrel Buster Classic is which, which I have on my deck right now. Uh, and this is far enough away from the deck railing that the squirrels can't get it, nor the raccoons can get it uh, from putting on. And the thing about raccoons is they will shake them and shake them and shake them. Uh, and, and what I've had to do with my Squirrel Buster Classic, I had this very this feeder right here, and I had it was working great at first. But the raccoons have learned they at night they'll just shake it all out or pull it over because I don't have this this big of a deck arm. Mine is smaller. And they can get to it. Squirrels can't do anything with it. The squirrels get negated. I got video of them crawling out there on it, trying to get on it. They can't do it. But the raccoons are long enough and strong enough to shake it. So what I've had to do with a squirrel-proof feeder, again, great for squirrels, but my raccoons have trained me that I have to go with hot seed, heat-treated seed. This is the newer one from a Wild Delight, and it works perfectly. The squirrels don't touch it. The raccoons don't touch it. So I actually put this in my Squirrel Buster Classic, uh, not because of the squirrels, it would do it because of the raccoons tonight, because I don't want to have to take that feeder in at night. And that's always an option. If you don't want to buy the, the hot seed that you, and you want to leave your feeders out at night, they're going to empty it. And some people feel there's less at, in the evening, so there's not as much for them to go through. But if you are feeding just regular seed, you can bring them in and keep a Rubbermaid tub right inside the door and just put them in at night. In the morning, take them and put them back out. I've told the story about with the hummingbird feeders. One of my customers taught me about putting her hummingbird feeder uh, that she in her gas grill at night and then putting it back out every morning, which is an ingenious trick. Put it out. But not, squirrels and raccoons don't like everything. So I've got this in my Squirrel Buster Classic feeder. And my woodpeckers love it and chickadees love it. It's got lots of peanuts in it and all that, which, which raccoons would no, normally love. But I also, and my, my other feeder that I have for, it's kind of my all-around feeder. I just have it hanging, not a cage. I do, I, I use a cage occasionally, but I do have a regular tube feeder hanging really close to the deck arm, at deck railing, and I use NutraSaf. You know, I, I like NutraSaf better than regular Safflower because it's got a softer seed coat. But the squirrels hate it. 
The blackbirds hate it. You know, in the spring now, the red winged blackbirds leave some of it, but I don't mind them, and we don't have I don't have many of them. But the chickadees, the titmice, and and they, the house even the goldfinches eat the nutrisap. I love this seed. It smells kind of funny, but squirrels don't like it, and I you know. But the house finches love it. They absolutely love it. Now, if you want to feed your finches, and when I said I use a a cage feeder uh, part of the year. I use I use my black tie, which is a mixture of uh, sunflower chips and niger for my finches. But if you don't want to use a cage feeder and just a regular finch feeder, niger is uh, a seed you want to use there because the squirrels and raccoons don't like the taste of that. So you can leave that hanging up on, and they all leave them alone. But if it's got anything to do with peanuts, anything to do with uh, sunflower chips or sunflower uh, hearts or sunflower period. Then the raccoons and the squirrels are going to go after it, and they're going to love it. And they'll throw the feeders off. Remember, raccoons have those semi-opposable thumbs. Man, they can manipulate everything, and they they'll get it off and drop it to the ground. We you know we see them uh, get them off hooks and have them you know, wait and get up in the morning. And your feeders cocked like that, where they've drug it over so they can get to it better. So. Raccoons are a challenge. There's no doubt about it. That's why I really recommend the hot seed and the, the NutraSaf. It just seems to work really well. Really well. Um, and if you're going to have feed you know, like black tie or sunflower chips, things like that, cage feeders are a good option. They're not 100% foolproof just because raccoons are so good with their hands and moving and moving stuff around. So hope that helps. Remember, uh, you know the squirrels can jump right over onto anything. It's a great idea for a program. Uh, thanks for that. Give us a like. Give us a share. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Until then, come on. Let's talk birds.